using the smoked hot sausage, uh, Walter, for, for one of these dishes. That's a, 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 an item that I'm not exactly familiar with. Oh, it's delicious. But it sounds great. It's uh, kind of for a bunch of guys that like to hang out in the ballpark that don't have money for the tickets, so they're hanging at home. Yes! Trying to make it, and make it the best <laughs> out of it. Lots of beer, lots of food. All the food has a little bit of uh, spice to it. Not too much, but, but just a little but bit. But just enough. Yeah. Hi, and welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today I'm joined by Chef Walter Stave from City Tavern Restaurant, and we are having fun with Dietz and Watson today. In fact, I'm glad you smuggled me in for this show because it's really yeah. like a guy's night in day at the Chef's Kitchen. <laughs> I mean, this is what I'm seeing, a lot yep. of fun fare. So tell me a little bit about what we're doing today. The idea is to have fun with it. So basically, yes. this is one I'm going to show you first. That's the easiest. Now, it's already there. Is this the, puff so, pastry? Yeah, you can try it already okay. because you have one sitting over there already for you. Oh, so I can yep. try it now. And this is yeah. these pinwheels over yeah. here. And you, and here look, look at it. I just want to show you how simple it is. Most people get uh, worried about it. There's nothing to it. The puff dough, you can buy store bought. Everybody sells it. In our it. freezer, you use it for so many different yeah. things. And then all you do is you cut it whatever size you want. And uh, you just put it on a baking sheet. Okay. Like so. And all, all it takes is about... Uh, here, let me cut it right. This is the, this is the smoked hot, hot sausage, sausage you did yeah. to us. It looks a lot like a hot dog. Go ahead. But not to be confused with, with their all beef franks, right. which are fabulous too. But So you cut it thin. You cut it thinner, it really makes no difference. And all you do is just throw it in the oven. Wow, great flavor. Yeah. We take the world famous horseradish cheddar. Oh, I that love that horseradish. Has, and you uh, just take a little prosciutto. Either way you want to do it, depending how much, uh, okay. again, how much you want to round it. Either way, just take the prosciutto, wrap it around the, uh, the horseradish cheddar. So thinly sliced prosciutto. Yeah, just put one of those guys in it, like you have there. Yes. And then I, what I do is I stick it in the pineapple, so the pineapple becomes kind of like the centerpiece. Oh, how beautiful is this? So that's what how it works. You can stick the rest of them in there while I do one more. Look how simple it is. You roll, oh, you, you, roll, you roll the prosciutto, you take a little bit of the, and just stick it in the pineapple. I love this anyway, way done. of presenting because yep. our guests can just take at their will. The next one we're beautiful. doing is like, are we making sliders? Okay. Sliders that, are so popular now. Don't you see but them on every a, menu? Yeah, but it's a cold slider. Okay. Most sliders, when you talk people sliders, they're, like thinking of, they're thinking of a burger hut. Okay. So here I'll show you. I'll show you three of them or four of them here. One, so you take two. nice small petite rolls. Yeah. You can buy them. Everybody, uh, most grocery stores you go have like a potato roll. Yes. You can use as well. So it's really We've simple. We've used them before to make paninis. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one over here, I use my own bread. It's a little better, so I have more control. It's a city tavern bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just made them small. I put a little bit of the uh, sandwich bread on the bottom. Good. A little bit. I put a little bit of the horseradish. It's the one without the uh, mayo, just creamed like ah, that. Okay, so creamy horseradish. Yeah. And then I have the roast beef, which is Angus roast beef. Yes, highest and I just quality. Wanna, and you shave it, have shaved, put it in there, like so. Yeah, and this is again, like it's a, so great. This is a slow marinated. It's like, yeah. it's oven roasted. So it's it good flavor be... to it. And then what I'll do is I put a little blue cheese on it. Blue cheese, just very a little nice. Bit red, white, and blue. That's the idea. Blue cheese, horseradish, roast beef. Yep. Yeah. Is onion. this decent Watson blue cheese? You yes, it's right there. Oh, but of course. And then onion, mm. the, can, the onion can be depending what you want to do. If you cut them, cut them like so it's easy like to... Like half moons? Well, kind of easier to score them. Mm -hmm. Then you put a top on it. You have a little doohickey. Now that Good is pick. a slider, Walter. With the new mayos that you have. I oh, experiment yes. with them. And what makes it really unique, put a little mayo on the, the on top. On the underside of the top. On the top of the bun. Makes it really okay. beautiful. So if you want to do that. And there's great flavors. Man, yeah. The sweet pepper I love. Uh, so One of the best things about Dietz & Watson are their compliments. Put this right on top. Yes. And they have extra, you have an extra flavor. So that's what's nice. Beautiful. So how, sim how simple is that and how beautiful is that? Now let's recap what we did because we went fast with it. Woo, we did a lot. Well, let's well, just make sure. You did a lot. The first thing we did is you buy the hot sausage, and the hot sausage just makes it nice. What's yes. unique about it, you gotta listen, this is very important. Once you bake them, they're perfectly eat cold. So try one of those and dip it in the mustard. You, you would like me to try it? Yeah, you I got to try it. I would love to. Because that's the beauty of it. You don't have to bake them you to can order. You ahead. That's exactly the okay. idea. Okay, and right? actually, you can get fancy with the kind of mustard you choose too. It doesn't need much because you have a lot of flavor and the, the, the thing. See it? So you can mm. bake them ahead of time, and they just keep on beautiful like that. So it's kind of ongoing eating. Mm. All right. Oh, I'm going eating. Yeah. Then you have the sliders. I like that. Then you have the sliders we just made. Very good, Walter. Okay. Then you have the horseradish with the prosciutto. Mm. But now what we didn't do, because obviously only so much time we have, make French bread pizzas. And there, again, the sky is completely the limit. Pepperoni, cheesesteak, mozzarella, whatever you want to make. And you want to do, roast just beef. make them. What's nice about that is, on a French bread, yes. it holds up much better than a pizza dough. 
So you can really be generous with the with the amounts yeah. of lunch, lunch meats and cheeses you put on there. Either way you want to do it. But again, it pizza can be eaten right. anytime, hot, cold, you know that. Well, this, but yeah. on a French bread pizza, this is, happens to be the small roll. You can make longer ones too. It's when it's, everything is out there, all you'd have to worry about, have the beer cold, get the guys over, put on the game. It's a big game night party, a men's party, any kind of party. But it's all done with decent Watson product. And I just want to show the people a little bit, don't have to just throw chips in a bag yes. and cheese whiz on the table. Don't do that. And the other thing is go to your cupboard, find different dishes, don't have it all look in the same, and don't use paper plates, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that last tip. <laughs> right now, this is what's making me happy. Walter Stave, Deets and Watson, men's night in party. Could be girls' night in too, it doesn't matter. I cater. Oh, <laughs> that's good to know. You're in my address book. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. See you. Thanks and what?